Welcome, my name is Geezer. Let's get into the build. It's a one by one with a T3 in it and tons of storage. You could build a chute, um, jump up if you want, or you could also honeycomb it and make sort of a one by one design. Now we're gonna make a high qual core to give us kind of a 15 rocket, one square bunker that you could, you know, expand however you like. So I put just a little uh, triangle on the end of it or a couple of triangles that you could honeycomb it. Like I said, also build a uh, jump up. That will work great too. Whatever you like. Put a single doorway there to fit the vending machine bunker into it. And I'll put a link to the Game Light's original description and uh, tutorial to give you more information on vending machine bunkers. Put another locker here. One goes into the rock and one just goes opposite to it. I couldn't fit that box, so but you're gonna just do these other small boxes and barbecues, which work great too. Make sure you can fit the bag inside before you put the bunker. Lock everything up, especially the ones that are passed through boxes. Put the vending machine bunker in, make sure there's no gap. Disable the broadcasting. I like to put something in there just so it doesn't say rotate all the time. And that's what it looks like from the top. You can put a little drop box there if you want. Another look. Let's close it. That's kind of your starter bunker. You don't need to upgrade it anymore if you don't want to. Super, super cheap upkeep. There's from inside the rock view, so you can see how much stuff hangs over. You wouldn't be able to do it without it. You can put a bag on top uh, or a, like, you know, a beach towel just for convenience. There's a barbecue pass-through box and a locker pass-through box. And there's also a barbecue and a and or a small box. The barbecue won't be locked, so just be careful using that as pass-through. Let's tear this down and make a little uh, jump up here as an alternate design. You can loot the top of the vending machine bunker that way and open and close the door uh, from the outside, which is a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. So this is a nice alternative model. You can put a door on the bottom. That way you can fit a, um, a furnace in here and also have kind of an escape, an additional way out, if you like. And you can still, from the side and the bottom, loot something, at least one of the pass-through boxes. Still very cheap. Another look at this model. And we can expand a little bit if we want to fit a bag uh, on the lower level in the interior as well. Just kind of, it'll, it'll depend how things go into the rock, how this will exactly look. It might be a little different because the rocks will be different each time. But there you go. We can tear this down and make it flat and then we're just gonna put a layer on top and some honeycomb really just to make it look sort of like a one by one honeycomb one by one but of course we're saving on the honeycomb because part of it's in the rock already but it really disguises that this is anything special at all this way but it's quite durable in fact and still you know great value very cheap pretty easy to set up you gotta fiddle with things a little bit thanks for watching guys that's about all i have for you today